This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking. See how I'm analyzing the data. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm on the plane again, about to make a little move. You know, if y'all watch my video, you know I, I I stay flying a lot. But here's the thing: if you follow my tweets, I put out a tweet yesterday that. They charge Bank of America five million dollars for seven point four million over-the-counter option trades over a course of eleven years. Now tell me how that is a deterrent to criminal behavior. Tell me how that is a deterrent to the bad behavior. They got an eleven year run. Seven point four million instances of options over the counter and their only fine was five million dollars and you know they probably made billions of dollars of those illegal transactions and of course the shills attacked me because that's what they do they're shills they, they can't they can't they can't help themselves but but here's the thing here's the thing the shills wanted to correct me they were like oh well it was just seven million instances of of a fraud I said listen seven million instances of fraud fraudulent options or not reporting fraudulent options it's just as bad it's worse it's worse because you don't know how many options was traded on each instance was it a hundred options each instance which would make it 700 million different options was it a thousand options each instance the bottom line is this the punishments that are put in place for these bad actors do not deter the bad behavior. And the fines that the SEC, FINRA, and all these other agencies take, it seems like just a cut of the profits, okay? And to the bad actors, it's just a cost of doing business. It's just like paying a tax. And it's not even like paying a tax because they write off these fines on their taxes. They write off these fines on their taxes as a business expense. The bottom line is this. Until the government agencies start fining these actors like multiple times what they gain from their bad actions and start charging them with criminal behavior, putting them in handcuffs, putting them in jail, that's the only way the fraudulent, the fraudulent activity is going to stop. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button on that YouTube algorithm. Tell me what you think about these guys stealing for 11 years, billions of dollars, and only getting a $5 million fine. Anyway, I appreciate y'all enjoying it with me. God bless.